The most incredible comeback of the weekend, Edinburgh, Edinburgh Economides. Eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Edinburgh was down 26-14, not anymore. Michael Harrison to Scott the row, 21-yard touchdown, and it's 26-21. Then Harrison again, this time to Jordan Saldana, and he is wide open, and he is going in for the go-ahead score. Victor Montemayor hit the two-point conversion, and Edinburgh wins an unbelievable comeback game, 29-26, 15 points in the last eight minutes, and just like that, the Edinburgh Bobcats are back from the dead, three and four, and right now sitting in alone in sixth place in 35A, but folks, they've only got one game left in their district, and that is against the team directly in front of them, whereas Lincoln, if they win, whereas Lincoln and Economides both play Donna. Edinburgh could have the tiebreaker over both of these teams. Edinburgh could make the playoffs with a win over Warriors Lincoln, assuming Donna does what it's supposed to do and beat both the Jaguars and the Huskies. Uh, where did this Edinburgh team come from and where were they the first half of the season, Eladio? Well, it, it, again, tradition. It's one of those things where you know, you, you, you know you're going to take your lumps early on. I'm sure uh, coaches over there needed... You know, they, they, they were missing some, some key guys coming back. They lost some, some players to graduation. But tradition goes a long way. Tradition, tradition wins a couple of games every year. And I think that right now at this point, uh, being, being uh, the Edinburgh Bobcats, they know that, 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 they still, that they're still alive. They, they still have a chance to get in. And, and they're going to go into this game. And, and, and this, this is it for them. This is a playoff game for them. You know, all, all, all they can control is what they can control. And that's this game coming up. So. Uh, tradition has a lot to do with it, and, and uh, they've been able to stay alive because of it. And Joey Koster is getting known for incredible comebacks with this Bobcat team, yeah. isn't he, Joe? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Well, there were two songs that were being played out in Edinburgh all season long. One of them was the Economides song, well, it's probably, we're a year away. We're a year away. And the other one was the Woe Is Me from Edinburgh. Well, that changed. A, a couple of games ago, that changed when all of this inner, inner city stuff was going on in those games. Edinburgh started saying, we're going to beat who we need to beat. Economides kept singing the same song maybe a year away. Now, they may be be a year away. <laughs> All right. Well, now we need to worry about what's going to happen this Thursday. It is Edinburgh at Juarez Lincoln, and now this is a huge game. It's pretty much a must win for the Huskies. I, you know, they either have to win this one or they have to win Donna. What do you think is going to happen in La Jolla on Thursday night, Eladio? Who have you got winning this game? I'm going to stick with the theme of tonight and tradition. I got the Bobcats taking this one. All right. What are your thoughts? I want to stick with the talent. I think Warriors Lincoln's got enough talent, and at home, I think they're going to win that football game. One thing is they'll play against those inner city rivals. This is not an inner city rival. Yeah, man. I tell you what, what Michael Harrison has been showing me in Edinburgh makes me want to pick the Bobcats because that passing game is something. But I am going to go with the Huskies at home, La Jolla ISD Stadium, that rushing attack. If they can get ahead, they will stay ahead because they have been actually getting first downs with the rushing game even better than Economides has in that district. Now, the other big games in that district this week. It is Donna at Economides. Eladio, does Economides have any chance? To, I mean, do they come back after this incredible, uh, you know, uh, collapse that they had on Friday? We're going to see what, not necessarily what Economides is made out of here, but maybe I'm going to call out the coaching staff what the coaching staff's made out of. You know, it, it's games like these when you give up, when you give up uh, a game against a rival like Edinburgh, and, and, and you know, you were probably favored going in. Mm -hmm. You know, the kids are kids. They're going to they're gonna probably feel down about themselves. It, it, I'm going to see how the coaching staff responds, Coach Bay and his staff respond to this, and how they prepare the kids for, for, for Donna. That being said, Donna's pretty pretty good. So, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sticking with Donna with this game. But Economy is going to go into this football game with nothing to lose. So you That's throw true. everything you got at it, which I think they did that against Sherryland when you look back at that football game. So uh, it gives them a chance, but Donna's... Too good, I believe. Donna All right, let's make it three for three with Donna. And then the other big game, really quickly, is Sherryland uh, hosting Edinburgh North. Uh, does Edinburgh North, you know, pretty much has a, a district uh, uh, playoff berth set. Sherryland wants to stay undefeated and make sure they keep that title away from Donna. Who's going to win this one, Eladio? I like the upset here. I, li I like Edinburgh North. I, li I like what they've been doing. They've, they've, like you said, they've showed me some good things throughout the year. and. I, I think they can go in there and, and, and pull off the upset. 
Joe? I like Edinburgh North's defense, but I don't like the fact that they're not going to get enough pressure up front. They're going to need to bring pressure. When you bring pressure against Sherry Land, Donna found out you don't win, and Sherry Land wins this. Uh, Sherry Land went out and showed everybody that it's not just Estefan Castillo and Trace Barrera and the other eight guys who can catch one pass per game. It's also a running attack from Cesar Valdez. That was impressive. I've got Sherry Land winning this one as well. We are coming right back on Sunday Sports Extra. We're going to talk about the meat grinder and another comeback that almost was at PSJ Stadium as PSJ North thinks they've got it, but then they don't. PSJ Memorial still alive, and also Westlaco coming up with a big win against Tony Harris and the Bulldogs. It's all when we come back.